Okay, so I don't know if you remember, but the New Zealand Math Olympia round one is out. Yeah. And I guess I guess we just did we just did a Barry Bash of question two. If you want the video I can send it to you. Um and but I was saving question one for you because it's combi. What? <laughs> Okay, so I don't know, like, I don't know how this question goes, but yeah, as Victor said, it did look pretty easy. Um, so I think the easy approach is a little bit harder just because it's, the numbers are so big. And <laughs> I think it doesn't quite work straight away, but I wanted to do the senior approach to this question, okay? Wait, so it's not the senior approach to this question in the absolute sense, because like, it's not like if you're a senior and you see this question, that's how you're going to do it. But like, like, especially it's like a senior approach to questions that like are meant for, you know, like you skip it because it's too easy. You might want to try out some things that are well, like some other things. So that's why like we do like Barry for question two, you know. Um, but for question one, do you want to try Tehran's theorem? Huh? Why is this, why is the number so specific? One to six eights. I mean, I guess the point is, you know, the number of edges, right? You know the total number of edges. And so if you know the total number of edges and you're trying to show that there exists a K7, right? Yeah. Mm. You, you guys dig what I'm saying? <laughs> I guess it's a regular block, so I guess I'm not using all the information. I mean, Turan's theorem is just counting the number of edges, you know? Yeah. Like, so maybe we'll learn something about Turan's theorem, but as far as I remember what Turan's theorem is like, if you know the number of edges, then you know if it has a K. It's like, you know, if it, like, you know, it has oh, you, more than a certain number. It's forced to have one, yeah. It has to have one. Okay, yeah, but. Otherwise, you don't know. Yeah, so there's a chance you're saying that, like, the number might be lower, yeah. but the regularity is what makes it mm -hmm. go over. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, do you want to try to figure? It, do you want to try to? Do you want to test it out? Okay. Calculate. Yes, let's calculate. Seven of the nine or six others. So that's a K seven, right? Oh wait, what? Oh yeah, they all they each know all six others. That's a K seven, right? Okay, so. okay, Justin, I will try to find the statement of Turan's theorem. Yeah, let me show it again. What was the graph again? I forgot. I think it was. Wait, I should have typed it here. If it's not, I'll just look it up in the other one. But basically. Oh yeah, Justin, did you uh get my message about? Oh yeah, the oil. I still don't know how to do it. Huh? I still haven't really figured out how to do it with oil. Okay, I'll send you. I'll send you a video or something if you oh, if you okay. ask for it. But basically, oh, yeah. you can do the whole problem with oil without doing any. Oh, okay. Yeah, without without doing the manual things. Six, six. Oh, you do six groups, and then when you fix, you know, when you pick. Seven of them pigeonhole principle. So that's mm. how Toronto got what I think. Wait, what was it? It was 1.3. Suppose a graph contains no K out. The, the okay, so I didn't state it. Maybe I'll find it here. Three, I think it's stated here. 337 remain Page 28. So that will be 5 337. And one three hundred thirty eight, or something like that. So this is the formula here. Uh, it's here. So if, if it has no k m plus one, then it has to have at most this many edges. You know? Oh, do you use a contrapuntal then? Or... Say what? Oh, wait. 
He he is like the contrapositive of the statement then. Yeah, so yeah. if it has more than this many edges, it has to have a K7. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so let's see, M minus K choose two. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna type this. n minus k choose 2 plus m minus 1 times k plus 1 choose 2 yeah. m minus 1 I'm just supposed to do this in places or something. So let k equals the floor of n on m or something. So it's k plus one choose two. Okay. It actually typed out pretty well. Is it N on M or M on M? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so in our case, N is twenty twenty three, right? Twenty twenty four, and we must the M. The M. The M is six. Raw contains six. Six plus one. K six plus one. And then the K is equal to what's uh K K how many sixes go into twenty twenty? Oh you already done that? Yep. K equals three thirty seven? I think. Can I do that? That is the question. No way, I can't do math. No, no, I can't. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's. Wait, no. Oh, I yeah, no, that's math. right, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. 7 times 6 is 42. Yeah, so that's equal. So, yeah, 6 times k is equal to 2022, yeah? Yeah. So the, the 1 over 6 is flawed. Mm. It's it's not it's not perfect. It's flawed. Okay. So then, what is it is n minus k? What n minus k over? Wait, n minus k just two. Ah, uh, I have this one. I am confused. What? Do not understand. That one's going on. Mm, so n equals twenty twenty three. M equals six. K equals three three seven okay what's the um
What's k plus 1 choose 2, and what's m minus k choose 2? Oh, maybe that's too many edges, isn't it? Oh, maybe not, huh? Um, what is... Wait, I don't get it. What is this number? Why is it that? So 3... Yeah, why is it that? Well, like, you're asking for a proof of Turon's theorem no. now. Well, I, I don't know, I forgot. Where, where did this come from? This number? Yes. Oh, that's like... You have a complete m part type graph, and yeah, and then you rearrange it to this, something like that. Yeah. Like you can rearrange it. This I don't know. Yeah, I think we probably should have written that down when we did it, but it's somewhere. Um, if you want to write it down, I can send you the video. N minus k occurs to n minus k is many. What's n minus k? Is 17, one, 16, six, eight, 6. Maybe this is too big. Oh no, no, that's just triangular numbers, it's not that bad. Okay, so you have on 2, yeah? Okay. And 3, 3, 8 times 3, 3, 7 times 5 on 2. Yeah? Mm. Okay, and then we got to compare that with, um, what is it? Everything has exactly 1686 sus. So is it 20, 23 times 1686 on 2? That's how many edges there are, right? Hold on. Wait, Justin, you knew that NZMO was already out, right? Wait a minute, that's actually mega sucks. Hold on. No, not really. I only heard about it now. Oh, okay. Wait, what was the number in the original question? Um, I think it's that number. Which number? Is it 16? Yeah. Alright, what was... What? Why is it 1686? What? Ayo. Sus. 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 Vicious. What's going on? <laughs> Wait a minute. That is highly suspicious. Okay, so the question now is, is the stuff in yellow bigger or is the stuff in red bigger? Yeah? That is the question. What is going on? <laughs> All right, I'll for a second. This is highly sauce. What? So this one. A, A plus 1. So we literally can just get rid of the 2s, but we don't. What? 3, 3, 7. What? I am. I am confusion. Oh, yeah. I mean, 3, 3, 7. 3, 3, 7 is like if you times it by 6, it's 2022, 20, right? Yeah. What? Ow. What is it? Five. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah, if you times it five, you get um like sixteen eighty six. What? Oh yeah. Ish. Yeah. Something in the ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. So now you're timesing it by maybe three, it's three, actually eight. one more. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> know. It might actually be one more. I can't believe we're held up on this part. I'll do that. Mm. Suspicious.
Oh yeah, Justin, there's a book I want to give to you. So if you're not coming next Sunday in person, let me know early and I can maybe deliver it yeah. to you. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh. Six hundred eighty-five times three thirty-eight over two plus. <laughs> 1686. I can't believe no one's got the answer to this yet. Three. What? 1685, bro. It's like that equals 1685 times 338 plus, plus 1686 equals 1115. Yeah, I feel like it's bigger. 11, I think it's. Four. Wait, isn't it bigger by a lot? Huh? What's this? Like, isn't the red bigger than the yellow by a lot? Uh, I don't know. Because the red is like, like if you ignore the twos, right? It's like 2000 and something 1686s, you know? And the yellows, it's like 1685, 1686s. Apparently, this is. Which is like 300 less. 1685 times 2024. Right? And then, but then the other one's 300 times something times small, yeah? Three. Wait a minute. Which one is bigger? Think back to primary school. <laughs> I think that's bigger actually. The red one. Uh wait, 337 times five equals 1685. Right. Yeah. So therefore this equals 1685 times brackets 1686 plus 338. Over two. If you add three, three, eight, and sixteen, eighty-six, oh, you get twenty, twenty-four. Oh, I'm, I, I think oh. twenty, twenty-four times one, six, eight, five over two. Okay, it's not bigger by a lot. It's probably bigger by one. It's bigger by exactly one, I think. Yeah, I, I misread the times five as point it's five. It's like <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. it's literally bigger than one. Wait, yeah, so if you times by 5, it's roughly 1686, yeah? Wait, no, it's like... Yeah. I don't know. Okay. It's 1685. 337 times 5. Yeah, 1685. So then you get 2024 times 1685 over 2. Versus 2023 times 1686 over 2. Mm. And 2023 times 1686 over 2 is bigger than like... Like one or something. Wait, something small. Something small. <laughs> but they they're closer together, so yeah, it's definitely. Yeah. It's kind of funny, like when you get like a calculation that's easy, like it's like instead of doing it on the calculator, which is what most people do, it's like we kind of just take our time and just get a little bit out, a little bit at a time or watching TV or something until we conclude that <laughs> this number is bigger than that number. Wow. <laughs> okay, so you can use to run, I think. Right? It seems legit. All right, okay, we're just gonna compare. It appears you can use to run. It appears. <laughs> It's like, with no degree of certainty, we conclude that you can probably use Toronto. <laughs> maybe. Proof? It is quite maybe. Well, honestly, I don't know how to do it without Toronto because I haven't thought about the problem. How to do it without? What? Why is it regular? It's 1686 regular. So... There are very many people in Bing Bong Bang Boom Bang Boom. So now, how you could probably not have a part. Quite strange. How do you do this with a
But actually, what is the number? This, we never calculated it. Huh? Oh, it's bigger by like a, a very small amount. <laughs> but it's not that small. It's Bigger than it's bigger by thirteen squared. Mm. Why? Very strange. So, it's kind of awkward. Uh, we assume that this does not can. So you inc increase the bigger number by one, and you decrease the smaller number by one. Yeah, that should give you a smaller number by like yeah, like AMGM principles. Something soft. Like, if you move them away from the mean, they should get a smaller product, yeah. Difference of square, I don't know. How is this question more? There you go. Who would have thought? Yeah, so even the easier questions, you know, there'll be lots of times where you're forced to do easier questions or they'll be put in front of you. It's definitely opportunities to learn stuff. All right, any questions about that? Justin, do we get the same result? Yeah, I think I got that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and notice that in, in, in no way, it's it doesn't spoil the problem in some sense, because I guess that's not, yeah, that's not really the, I don't think it should be the intended way, because problem one is meant to be like easier for juniors and stuff, so. How do you do it? I am being confused. Oh, you're trying to do it the junior way? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Look, like, the obvious approach, I think, does work, probably, but, like, it doesn't work the way you expected it to. Mm -hmm. Like, did you just keep, like, knowing people until they know? Like, it's easier to get a case six, I guess. I don't know. 
Mm -hmm. Alright, let's move on. I cried. Yeah, there's like a 